guys, Jiggy Kick for the five here, and today is another, and today I'm back with another vlog. Uh, I can't even see, uh, how much can you just mean? Yeah? yeah it's, it's a really fun day today. It's today is special. It's the day before Easter. If you're watching this in like Asia or some in the, or Europe, <laughs> or somewhere that it has a day ahead of the US, then yeah, it's gonna be Easter yeah. for you guys. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, let's, yeah. we'll tell you what we're doing later. But right now we're at Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln Shiny Armour's Church. Yeah, Shiny oh, Armour's Church. Easter. How about you? Happy Easter. How about? I like your bunny nose. <laughs> I would have had it Happy if Easter. I hadn't taken a shower, but okay. By the time you're watching this, this is probably Easter. And so what we're doing is, you guys already seen this if you saw my other vlog. Oh. We're, we're meeting Tyler. Hey, Lockett. guys. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Hey. Here we go. So we're gonna meet the famous Tyler Lockett. Over here. Patriots. No. See, let's guess. Tyler Lockett. Uh, well, there's a what? And people. Oh. Are you guys gonna go to the baby oh, kid oh. service? How's it going, guys? Hello. Hi. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Go Hawks. Go yeah, Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> we're just making a video on the wall. Hey, hey, thief, thief. Nope. No, what are you doing? Seems legit. I wonder who's gonna go down. Fourth, fifth, first, and fifth grade. We can either go see Ty Lockett. Oh, please, no food and more food. Yo, guys, let's explore. You know, I think we're at the mine. Oh, right there. So yeah, this might be a boring vlog, so should we skip ahead to Tyler? Of course we should. So we'll see you guys later. Good life fam. Hold on, bro. We're here at guys, we, my church to see Tyler Lockett. Lockett. We this. got guys, we are in the in an auditorium. Tyler Lockett sitting over there. Right next guys. Wait, let me show you. Dude, we're able to see Tyler Lockett. Right here. Oh, please, right totally here. fine. Tyler Lockett. Right there. That's, That's where cool. he's gonna sit. This is where he's gonna sit. We're sitting over there. Are you, are you excited? Right, yes. right here. Right yes. here. He's gonna no. sit right there. It's called Tyler Lockett. All right, guys. I need mean, to back, please. Okay. Guys. Sorry. Oh, you oh. can take a picture of his name? Sure. No, we just recorded it on a video. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. All right. Okay. okay. And, okay. We all, we all, dude. We do. Hold up. Okay. Cheers to everyone doing. We are at Eastridge Church. Yeah. This Actually, the two brothers. This is a great community. I would like to worship. Yeah. I suggest you go there. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, unless you don't live in Washington or Bellevue or Seattle or Redmond or whatever or Woodville or all or in, in Washington. Or in Washington. Seattle. Bread. Yeah, dude, look oh, at this. Dude, the cross. Yeah, boy, this is sick. This is beautiful. I've we never been in here. We just went in here a few uh, hours ago uh, to go to the Easter egg hunt. My, uh, oh yeah. yeah, my sister won a grand prize. She p they picked a name. She picked it and said Mia had to be on. Hey guys, these are the name tags. Oh, Mia. No, we don't need those. Um, no, so, dude, if you want me to lock it, so we'll like. Turn oh yeah, you right. Stop it real quick? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll be you guys. In if this you, scene. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Snapchat, and so you guys can see me better. So. Bye, guys. Hopefully you guys follow me on Snapchat at um, Mini Skate Snap. Yeah, Snap. Yeah, follow me. Okay, see you guys. Bye. A few moments later. And his walk with God, his faith, and what it really means. So I want to give you an opportunity to talk to our family today about uh, how you came to Christ and uh, maybe your, a little bit of your family story and just kind of that behind the scenes about how you came to the Lord and what He means in your heart today. Well, first of all, I want to say hello to everybody. Hey, how's it going, man? Thank you for Usually, you know, I get kind of nervous the first time I come up here and talk. And, you know, you might have somebody say, break a leg, but I might actually break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I told you you didn't break a leg. Anymore. But uh, how did I come to know Jesus? I think for me, you know, I used to go to church. Uh, my grandma kind of forced me to go. <laughs> And sometimes I try to lock myself in a bathroom or try to fake sick, you know, things like that. But eventually my mom ended up taking me to a church and I had met this pastor 
and his name was um, Pastor Bryant. And when we went there, every time he tried to put an analogy with the story that he was trying to like present to us, I always tried to make it be wrong. But I could never be wrong. Like he was always right because if I said one thing, he did the other. And so I ended up going to his house, hanging out with him, and we were playing WWE on PlayStation 3. <laughs> and it was, it was weird because I didn't know pastors do that. And so, and so we're playing WWE, and then all of a sudden I start asking questions little by little, and that's when he started answering them for me, and he started kind of like allowing things to make sense for me. And then whenever I ended up coming up here, like five or six years later, I ended up having one of these crazy dreams, and I'm not even going into it, but I had like a really crazy dream, and I was freaking out, and like I couldn't move or anything like that. I don't know if some of y'all might have had something like that before. I couldn't move, and it was something that was like standing right there in my closet, and it was just laughing at me, and I was freaking out like the whole entire time. And um, like I couldn't do anything to get out of it, and I grabbed my phone, put the flashlight on my eyes, it wouldn't work. And then all of a sudden, like, I just ended up, like, crying. It was just like, Jesus, please help me. And all of a sudden, like, I woke up and was able to move. And I was, that's whenever I was like, I'm not questioning Hallelujah. anything anymore. Because for me at that moment in my life, I was searching for other things to see of other things. Like, is this real? Is this real? Whatever. And then when I was searching out of the element of where I was already at, that's when I realized, like, I'm not doing anything that no more like I know it's real and so that was like something that proved to me that what I believe is real and I don't have to search anymore yeah so the Lord it's amazing how God has a way of touching our hearts and touching our lives and uh, really bringing us to that place where you had a good grandmother you know you might not have thought that when she was you know trying to get you to go to church but she had a heart for you and she prayed for you So I think I'm gonna start like this. Uh, first of all, when I got hurt, I don't know if y'all heard this, but I didn't feel anything. So everybody thought it hurt and all that type of stuff, and I didn't even think I was hurt. I just told them my foot was numb. And so when they ended up taking me to the hospital, and then first of all, I looked at the doctor, and he was 35, so I asked if he was even qualified enough to do this. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then after he said he was qualified, the people who were supposed to give me the stuff to put you to sleep, they looked like they were my age. So I was kind of freaking out the whole time. And I told them I wasn't hurt. I could go home and was, my bone was sticking out. And so I didn't see that part. I would have, you know, went to sleep. But the thing that I would say is a lady asked me maybe three weeks ago, uh, well, one of my biggest, like, memories is in the NFL, like the best moment, and I told her it was when I got hurt, and she looked at me weird, but it was like, I was able to tell her, like, when I got hurt, like, I saw the bigger picture in life, and not only that, but I realized that sometimes, like, things have to happen in order to bring everybody else around you together, and sometimes things have to happen in order to allow people to see that even the strongest people can be able to endure whatever comes their way. And so when I got hurt, I wasn't even tripping. I didn't like, I didn't like regret anything. I was like, God, I still trust you because it's always worked out for me. Like I said, when I hurt my kidney, it worked out for me. Um, I had surgery before my senior year, it still worked out for me. I got drafted, I came here, I broke my leg. I was like, it's still gonna work out for me. The only difference is God needed to take me to a place to where I could be able to be low, where other people are low to be able to bring them up when I come up. And so I never really like sat there and tried to second guess anything. The only thing is I just didn't want to start over as far as getting surgery. I was about tired of surgery. I didn't think I was going to wake up, like all that type of stuff. But it was like, I realized that like allow everybody else to look at life in a different angle. Cause it was like, you shouldn't have been the one to get hurt. Like you, you're too nice. You do this, you do that. And it was like, you know, at that moment, their heart dropped. But when they were able to see that I wasn't worried about myself. So I forgot to do an outro, so here you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. See, did smash that like button. And so, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in that one. Peace.